Angola, not for the faint-hearted. A post-war generation may be struggling to find jobs, but here, business is booming in the bushmeat trade. It may be illegal, but we didn't have to look far to find it. Although this may offend some sensibilities, this is the reality of bushmeat. What they're selling here is called kumbambi. It's a gazelle or an antelope, and every bit of the animal is used. And it's not simply about traditions. One woman told me there's an economic reason for buying this. It's cheaper than the price of fish. Monkey, snake, wildcat, gazelle, all for sale to the strains of a popular tune. It may seem macabre, but this woman is among the millions resisting moves to ban it. They can't stop it, she tells me. And you can't compare the taste of this meat and the taste of chicken. This is much better. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Big crime syndicates are using markets like this to shift bushmeat and ivory on an industrial scale. Wildlife now bigger than the trade in firearms. Access to markets is coming with cheap motorbikes coming into the landscape and enabling them to do this, to, find, to actually convert wildlife into money. So the people are eating really just the heads and the guts of these animals. They're eating the big cats. Uh, they're eating moles and birds. So it's cascading down into the ecosystem. Soldiers are now being rebranded as wildlife rangers as Angola promises to live up to international commitments to scale up efforts at detecting the criminal gangs. Daily, the poachers, they are, they are killing animals and we don't want to kill any single animal because they need peace as well. But it's a race against time. The vast territory that makes up the Okavango River system out of bounds during decades of war is now exposed, opening up a new front in the battle between conservationists and wildlife criminals. Below is one of the last pieces of uncharted territory on this planet. It's quite extraordinary. Scientists have already discovered new species of fish, of plants and of spiders. And the potential for finding more is enormous. And that's what's driving conservation and tourism. Pristine and wild, for some of the remotest parts of this region, there is still a chance to protect the wildlife. A proposal for a major conservation zone is now on the table in an effort to cheat the criminals and avoid the looming threat that these majestic...